What's going on Summer Loving family and welcome to another RV video. Thank you for tuning in today and if you are a new viewer my name is JP and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications of when we drop a new video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a quick install of the RV snap pad. What is the RV snap pad you may ask? Thanks for asking. The RV snap pad is this guy right here. So with our Class A motorhome, we have a four-point leveling system, and at the end of that four-point leveling system is a 10-inch round metal plate, which obviously lowers down and sits on the ground. Now to avoid that 10-inch leveling plate from going through the ground or like sinking to the ground, what I've been doing, what most people do, is we use a, a cutout of plywood, which is fine. You just have to crawl underneath your RV, stick it into place, Make sure while the jacks are coming down that you don't have to adjust it. Um, and you can go with that route. Uh, I've decided to upgrade and that's where these RV snap pads come in. You'll see they're round and there's also a lip right here. So what we're gonna do today in the install is we're gonna mount these. And how you do that is by dropping your leveling system on here, they'll snap on, hence the name snap pad, and then they'll stay on permanently. So you will never have to crawl under your RV again. All you have to do is when you get to your site, drop your jacks, and now you have a nice footing on your leveling system. All right, so let's talk cost because my plywood boards were free. I used some scrap plywood. These RV snap pads, I have the Prime um, snap pads, which are made for 10 inch round uh, leveling jacks. This was $209.95. It came with free shipping, and then if you're a first responder or military, they do give you a 10% discount if you have a gov, govx.com account, uh, which was really great. So these ended up coming to around $179. Not bad, I won't have to crawl under the RV anymore, so, um, and then I won't, if I didn't get them, I wouldn't be able to test them, so. All right, so the RV snap pad increases your stability on your RV in three different ways. The first one is basically increased surface area. This measures from sidewall to sidewall, 13 and a quarter inches. If you go from uh, corner to corner, it's about 14 inches. Um, the metal plate at the bottom of our leveling system is 10 inches, so that's about a 319% increase in surface area. The other great thing is that this will conform to uneven terrain like gravel, rocks, and dirt, and uh, it'll also decrease the vibration coming through into the RV, and it's also anti-slip. So this will definitely stick a lot better to the ground than the metal uh, feet on the bottom of your jack. One of the added benefits of having the snap pad on the bottom of your jack feet is that it will protect your jack feet, your metal feet, from constant abuse from going up and down on any dirt or gravel, scratching, and then starting to rust. For me that really doesn't matter because our RV is uh, now almost 12 years old so the feet are very rusty. Um, but this should help prevent any other issues from occurring. Alright, so how are these made? They're made from recycled crumb and recycled tires, so they're 100% eco-friendly. They're made here in the USA, which I really like, and if anybody's ever used um, the bumper weights in CrossFit or some of the gyms, that's basically what these are. And last but not least, they also look good. They don't look bad. Oh, what's the weight? So for the model that I have here, the Prime, they come in at 8.9 pounds per pad. So let's say nine, so you're looking at 36 pounds of thereabouts of total weight. All right, so we're gonna get to installing this. I'm actually gonna try to attempt this by myself. Per the recommendations on the snap pad website, they said make sure you have somebody with you so that way they can watch the jacks coming down while the person inside the cab is lowering the jacks. I'm gonna try and do this by myself. So I've, had, I've placed all the pads, um, underneath the jack pads. I've semi lowered them down so that way they kind of look close enough to where I think they'll be perfectly lined up. And then we're gonna pop them into place. So let's go do that now. It is 36 degrees out, I'm getting cold. So let's see how long this takes. All right, what's up everybody? I'm actually 
kind of cheating. I've got my GoPro connected to my phone, so I'm going to be able to kind of watch the jacks. So let's see if this works. All right, it's almost there. I'm just gonna go quickly adjust it. Make sure it's good. All right, looks pretty good. That little bump, I think, was it sitting, seating itself. I'm gonna go verify. And the front right passenger one is good. All right, we're on the uh, driver's front. gonna double check all right so my GoPro died <laughs> I really can't see what I'm doing so I'm running back and forth so I'm just trying to get the the passenger rear one to come down my driveway is kind of sloped Let me go take a look again. <laughs> All right, so my one issue, and because my driveway is not level and it's kind of sloped, my rear end is higher than the front end. So I couldn't get this rear one to snap in. So I put four pieces of plywood and then a little wedge to get this last lip to kind of pop on. So um, I definitely recommend you being on flat level ground to install these but I wasn't gonna move my <laughs> move the RV because my, my streets not even level it slopes down to the side so all right all four are on and uh, that wasn't too bad all right so that install wasn't too bad as I said underneath the RV the only issue I had was that my driveway kind of slopes down so the rear of my RV is higher than the front so getting that uh, rear end jacks to really snap onto that pad was a little difficult so I just had to build up the height and then I finally got it to snap in. All right, yes, I have Odin now, but uh, I will link down below to rvsnaphead.com uh, where I got them. And uh, when you order them, tell them uh, you were sent by us. This isn't paid or anything or any affiliation, just testing out their product. And then maybe down the line, I'll do a review and let you know how they're holding up. I'll also link to amazon.com where they have some of the RV snap pads with uh, prime shipping as well. All right, if you have any questions on the RV snap pads, feel free to leave a comment. Leave a comment down below or uh, definitely reach out to rvsnappad.com. But Odin. Yeah, who's that? All right, uh, that's all I got in this video. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Don't do it for me, do it for this guy. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.